Take a look at the quality of this image. I upscaled it in just one step using the new flux model. Yes, you heard that right. Just one step. This incredible trick is being revealed for the first time and you're definitely going to share this video with your friends so they can benefit from it too. Recently, everyone has been struggling with upscaling using Flux, unable to find a good solution that avoids issues and artifacts while enlarging the image without damaging or ruining the final output. With exciting methods, either the upscale boundaries in the final image were noticeable or the initial image would get completely distorted, leaving us unable to achieve the desired result. Everyone said we had to wait for a model for ControlNet to be released in order to have proper upscaling. However, the method I'm sharing neither ruins the original image nor does it compromise the details and resolution of the final image. You'll be amazed at the results. I've put the download link for this workflow in the description and you can download it from there. In the load image section, I'm dragging and dropping an image that I previously generated using the same flux model. Here, I'm setting the upscale factor to 3x because we want to make our image three times larger. The step count is just one. Yes, you heard that right. Just one step is enough for this method. Even with the main flux model, which is the dev model with a size of 23 gigabytes. You can also do this with other models like NF4 or F8. Here I'm using the 4X and MKD CX 200K upscaling model, but you can use any other models as well. However, I recommend this one because it prefers skin texture very well. I'll put the download link for this model in the description for you. Set the CFG value to 2 and the denoise value to 0.2. All other settings should remain as default, except for two options that I'm about to explain. These two options are tile height and tile width. If these are set to 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024 by default, the image will be divided into four or six sections with horizontal and vertical lines and each section will be upscaled separately. The problem with this is that in the flux model the edges of these tiles are not seamless and you will see the boundaries which ruins the image and prevents us from getting the desired result. Additionally, with this method you will need to perform at least 15 upscale steps which puts a lot of strain on your machine. With all this in mind, wouldn't it better to adjust the setting so that the AI doesn't divide our original image with vertical lines and upscale each section separately before stitching them back together? Instead, we should have it upscale the entire image at once, preventing issues like visible edges and image degradation. The answer is yes, this is the best approach. And to do this, follow my instructions carefully so we can ask the AI to upscale the whole image at one piece. I have an image here that, as you can see, is sized 1216 by 832. And I want to perform a 3x upscale on it. To do this, I click on the tile height option, enter the value 1216 by 3 and press enter. For the tile width, I also enter 832 by 3. This means my canvas for the upscale operation should be exactly 3648 by 2496, which is three times the size of the original image. Since the canvas size for the upscale operation matches the size of the final image, that is the tripled size of the original image, the upscaling process will be done in a single unified tile without any divisions. This way, those seams and errors won't appear and we'll get a seamless image. In the test I've done, this method works best with just one step. Using two or more steps makes the image overly saturated. Like you, even with the weaker graphic cards or machines, you can achieve this in just one step. So with these settings and using the main flux model, the dev model with a size of 23 gigabytes, along with the 4X NMK DCX 200K upscaling model, we click on Q prompt and wait for the magic to happen.
As you can see in the command prompt, the number of tiles is set to 1, meaning the upscaling is done in a single operation. The upscaling is now complete and we want to test the image quality. To do this, I'm opening the Photoshop and layering two images on top of each other. The original image and the one we've just upscaled using this method by 3. This is the upscaled image, which is now around 10 megabytes, is imported into Photoshop. And here is our original image. I'm placing the original image over the upscaled one. As you can see, the size is much smaller, indicating that our process was successful. Now I'm scaling the original image in Photoshop so that it precisely aligns with the upscaled image. I'm zooming in the subject's lips to show you the details. You can see that our method worked and we achieved an outstanding upscale in just one step without any alteration to the original image. This method also works exceptionally well for images containing text as all the pixels are accurately upscaled. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. This is the first video of mine and I will share more videos in the future.